What's going on everybody? This is Ultima Device Vids, and today in this video we're going to be doing a battery drain test between the iPhone 12, the iPhone 11, and the iPhone 10R. So these are Apple's latest three generations of non-pro standard phone offerings, and we're going to be comparing the battery life on all three of these. Now it's definitely worth mentioning that these tests should be taken with somewhat of a grain of salt, as of course there's a variety of factors that contribute to how long your device's battery lasts, of course the tasks that you're doing on your device, the screen brightness, the age of the battery, etc. That being said, it's definitely worth mentioning that all the devices that I'm using in this video are brand new, so the batteries are in tip-top shape on all of these devices. And with the 12 on the right, the 11 in the middle, and the 10R on the left, first things first, I want to show you guys that the battery capacity on all three of these are at 100%, as you can see. Also, auto brightness is disabled on all of them, and the true tone feature is also disabled on all of them, and I set the brightness to 50% using Siri on all of them. Also, all three of these are running the latest iOS version as of recording this video, which is iOS 14.1. All these devices are currently connected to a power source, and as you can see, they're all at 100%. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the power strip that they're connected to and we'll remove the cables and let's kick things off with two and a half hours of youtube video streaming so we're just going to load the same video on all three of these and let it play for two and a half hours and we're also going to use an iphone 7 here to keep track of time and as i always say in videos like this you should definitely take this test with somewhat of a grain of salt as in addition to factors like the firmware that you're running the age of the battery in your device a large portion of your experience with battery life depends on what you do on your device but in this video we're just going to be doing a few tasks on all these devices and seeing how long each of them can hold a charge. And checking in after two and a half hours, the 12 is at 87%, the 11 is at 88%, and the 10R is at 85%. So all very close to each other, with the 11 leading, followed by the 12, followed by the 10R. Next up, we're going to do one hour of gaming in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So we're just going to open up the game here on all of them and actually get into the game. And we're just going to leave it running on this screen here for an hour. And after an hour and four minutes of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, the 12 is at 51%, the 11 is at 58%, and the 10R is also at 58%. So at this point, the 11 and 10R are tied and leading at 58%. Next up, we're going to head over to Safari and we're just going to sit on the verge.com on all of these for about 30 minutes. And Checking in after 32 minutes, the 12 is at 47%, the 11 is at 55%, and the 10R is at 54%. So you can see all of them are still very close with the 11 currently leading. Next up, we're going to run about 50 minutes of Asphalt 9, so we're just going to open it up on all of them, get into the game, and let it run for 50 minutes. And after 51 minutes of Asphalt 9, the 12 is at 35%, the 11 is at 36%, and the 10R is at 34%. So you can see they're all extremely close at this point. And now I'm going to set the brightness to 100% on all all these devices and we're going to go back to the video streaming test and see how long each of these devices can hold a charge for. And 41 minutes into this final YouTube video streaming test, the 12 is at 28%, the 11 is at 21%, and the 10R is at 20%. So with the 12 in the lead, it's currently going straight down the line from 12, 11 to 10R. And checking it again, this time an hour and 45 minutes into this final video streaming test, the 12 is at 20%, the 11 is at 3%, and the 10R is just barely hanging on at 1%. And a few minutes later, the 10R has died one hour and 47 minutes into this final video streaming test, with a total on-screen time in this test of 6 hours and 47 minutes. And just a little while later, at 1 hour and 55 minutes into this final video streaming test, the 11 has also died, with an on-screen time of 6 hours and 55 minutes in this test. And checking in 2 hours and 48 minutes into this final video streaming test, the 12 is still going strong with 12%. And finally, four hours and two minutes into this final round of video streaming, the 12 has died, with an on-screen time in this test of nine hours and one minute. So, the 12 did hold a charge longest in this test. Although, as you saw throughout this video, the battery levels didn't always go straight down the line from the 12 to the 11 to the 10R. That being said, as I mentioned before, there's a lot of variables at play in regards to how battery life is on a device, so mileage certainly varies. If you guys use any of these devices, let me know down below in the comment section what your experience with battery life is like. But alright everybody, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.